at home before we head back up to the Gold Coast for Commonwealth Games and I thought I would take you guys along and show you how I am preparing to head away next week. So woken up this morning and I'm just headed to a dietitian appointment with my dietitian Kylie, shout out Kylie. Planning about all the foods and everything that's going to be available in the village and in the big food hall so can't wait to do that. I hope you guys enjoy this video and a little sneak peek into my week getting ready for Com Games. And let's go. So fun. Kylie's been my dietitian since I was about 14 and she also works for Richmond so we pretty much just spend half our time talking about Richmond. She's like my second mom, my psychologist, my dietitian, she's practically everything so went really well and she's going to be on the Gold Coast as well so I'll hopefully see her there. Next stop, time to pick up a package from the post office. Thank you very much. Yum. Blue dinosaur superfood bites. These are my favorite snacks. I wouldn't call them muesli bars. They're really natural, um, a great energy snack for me when I'm at training. And I'm gonna be able to take these to come games, so. Thank you, Blue Dinosaur. Yeah. Guys, today is a good day to be alive. I just got a phone call and ran downstairs, someone saying, Kiri was here to have a delivery. And it is my favorite. <laughs> Remedy Kombucha. Didn't know this was coming, so thank you guys so much. This stuff is my absolute favorite. Getting cold in the mornings after gym. I usually do lemon, squeeze some lemon in, apple cider vinegar, turmeric, amazing for inflammation. By Wednesday morning I'm always really sore, midway through the week I've got a massage on Thursday but got to make sure I'm looking after my muscles. Fill it up with water and drink it up. Cheers. The last sip's the worst because you get like the little remnants of turmeric. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Wednesday is our sleep in morning, so I had a great sleep in this morning. My body's pretty sore. We had a massive session last night. I did all my dives and lots of volume, so I'm pretty sore, but I always use Wednesdays to just relax in the morning and now I'm on my way to brunch with Anna Rose who's also on the Commonwealth Games team and our good friend Bridget who used to train with us um, so we're having a big catch up before we go away and we're going to go get smoothies so I'll take you guys along. <laughs> on my way to see my sports psychologist. We are training at Ringwood tonight and she works out of that area. She's been really helpful. I think with diving especially, it's a really precision based sport. So the small differences between your mental game can really be the difference sometimes. So I've been really happy to work with her over the last few months. And then I'm off to training. So I will catch up with you guys later. I've made it to psych and I am busting to pee. Grab my water. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, today is Thursday and it's going to be a really busy day for me. I've got to get 
do a lot, go to a lot of appointments and get a lot done because tomorrow is Good Friday, so everything will be shut. Whilst I'm on my way to my appointments, let's have a chat about Commonwealth Games. I'm actually super excited, but also it's been really weird the last few weeks thinking that Commonwealth Games is coming up because it is a home game, so it's in Australia, and we don't have to travel anywhere overseas. It's kind of like, it's kind of odd. Because you're used to thinking about, oh, you're going to get on the plane and you've got to travel far away because everywhere we go is usually like far away. Um, but we don't have to do that this time. And, you know, we've been going up to the Gold Coast for camps. We've been using the pool a lot. So it all seems a lot more familiar than usual. This, pretty much my whole family is coming to watch. So that's something that I haven't had to deal with before. But that's one of the best things, I think. You know, I've been diving for 13, 14 years almost. Um, and my whole extended family has been a massive support system for for me and for my immediate family. Um, so it's really special that they get to experience the Commonwealth Games. That's a bit of how I'm feeling. We're not till the second week of competition, so we've still got you know, a couple weeks to um, settle in. Once we get into the village, we've got a full week of solid training. Um, so yeah, looking forward to just getting up there. Next stop, time to get these brows fixed. If you haven't had your eyebrows threaded, you have not experienced true pain. I cried, I cry every time. All right, no more pain for me today. But it honestly feels like someone's slicing my face. It's not fun, not fun. They need to invent laser for eyebrows so then you don't have to keep getting them done. to my massage at my favorite body lap. It's not gonna be a enjoyable massage. It's gonna be painful, but painful. It's caught up with me. I finally finished all my appointments, but there's traffic everywhere because everyone's going away for the long weekend and I'm trying to get to the pool. I have got gym first and I'm running out of time. <laughs> my stress levels are through the roof. I hate being rushed for time. Breathe. It's gonna be okay. Time to surprise some family friends for their birthdays. Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi vloggers! My name right is now, Star. Annabelle is at my surprise party that we, we just threw. Really really yeah, it was really cute. <laughs> Everyone She's say hi! Hi! hi. 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 Then we're back to Annabelle, the owner of the camera. Love you. Finally home. It is quarter to nine. First things first. Premiership shoe, and luckily enough, they sent me some. Woo! All right, I'm just finished packing. I think I've got everything. Last minute towel. I'm gonna take the teddy. And I didn't think I'd actually fill up these two massive suitcases, but I've proved myself wrong, and I've managed to fill them both to the brim. One, two, and my backpack. Let's go to the go <laughs> Gold Coast and the next 